Right now I declare in Jesus name. Your sins are forgiven. I break the curse of sin. I break the powers of darkness. I set every captive free. that far exceeds any power in the universe. Because where God is, there is power. Loose these people tonight, Satan, set them free in the name of Jesus. My God, tonight, I ask you to touch every broken heart. That each person here will experience the power and the love of God. This young child could not see the moon or the stars, but now he can see. who have lived on this earth. Whether they be just good men or whether they be prophets, they are still men created by God. I declare them to be sons and daughters of Almighty God. Man was not created to be worshipped. The stars, the sun, the moon were not created to be worshipped. The animals, the plants were not created to be worshipped. But the one who is to be worshipped is the one that created all things. For by him and for him all things were created. Uh, she got 
neckband neck pain and she feel all the whole head pain but she got better and she feel uh, she was she got here now the back pain but she was here now hallelujah completely healed all the pain's gone yes, yes. all the pain's gone amen yes man had bad back and just now he got better and she, he was here right now bend over brother let me see you bend oh. hallelujah okay hallelujah, hallelujah. All things were created. And all things were created for him. For the heavens declare the glory of God. Nature declares the glory of God. And you and I were created to declare the glory of God. was sent from God the Father from heaven to earth. He came as a man yet he was God in flesh. And as he walked upon the face of this earth he brought the message from heaven, the word of God. For indeed he was the word made flesh. He was as if the bread of life come down from heaven. That we may eat and partake of him. And live. that pierces the heart that, that divides between soul and spirit truth and a lie blessing and curse so God sends forth his word and to set us free.
finger cannot move. Okay, this finger, this hand could not move. Now open it and move it. Let me see you move it now. Hallelujah. You couldn't do, you couldn't do that before? Ask her. Oh, look at that. Now God's open your fingers and you can move this hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This lady, here we are in Burma. This lady was deaf in both her ears. God has opened the ears, now she can hear. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Tonight we must choose. For today we still live in the favor of God. Jesus said, I come to declare the favor of God unto mankind. He declared there is forgiveness of sin. There is freedom from guilt. That he desires to come and live within you. My God, now touch them. My God, touch. This, this man could not, he was paralyzed down the right hand side, his leg. Now show me brother, just walk now. You could, you, could he not do that before? He could not walk before like this. He could not walk like this before. Now God is healed him. Show me again. Just walk there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God does not live in temples made by man. But he lives in the hearts of those that open to receive him. For you become the living temple of Almighty God. Emmanuel. God with us. Would you declare him as your God? Confess him as your Lord. Here's the man. They carried him into the meeting on a stretcher. On the bed, he could not walk. Power of God has come upon him. He is healed. Now, brother, just take a walk here. Show us. Just walk here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's walk back here. Thank you, Jesus. He's walking. Healed by the power of God. The neck's been frozen and you could not move. Now move it from left to right. Hallelujah. All the pain's gone. Hallelujah, Chai. This lady, yes? Yes. The eyes could not see clearly. Yes. And now, yes, now completely, see clearly. completely see clearly. God's yes. opened her eyes. Hallelujah. You see, there is no other God that desires to come close to you. There is no other God that calls you, that beckons you to come close to Him. There is no other God that is a perfect Father. 
that desires to come and pick you up in his arms of love and of power and to hold you close to his heart. This man was paralyzed. Now he's walking. All the pain's gone out of his body. He's just testified. Now tell him, tell him to lift his hands and worship God. Look at that. Hallelujah. He was paralyzed. He's now been healed. That's a miracle. Come on, will you thank the Lord with me? Thank you. A soldier cannot act, move. Her shoulder, lift your hand up. Reach up to the sky. Right. Her shoulder was frozen. She was paralyzed. Now she's healed. Hallelujah. Problem with the throat. She couldn't drink water, can't swallow. Now she sees she's healed. Hallelujah. The promise of God is this. That to all those that receive him. He gives the power. And the authority. To become sons and daughters of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. women standing with their hands raised before you in the name of Jesus Christ I break the power of darkness in the name of Jesus I declare you men and women of God I declare the favor of God upon you tonight. For today is the day of the favor of God. Today, this is the glory of God. To touch you. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Oh, Here, how many orphans here? Thirty-two. Thirty-two orphans. Yes. Okay.
greatest thing that God desires is not just head knowledge of Him, but to know Him in your heart, to walk with Him, to fall in love with Him. know how to step into his presence to know how to step into his glory and his holiness for in his presence is fullness of Let joy me put to you there is far more we need to understand uh, to inherit salvation people say just receive Jesus well, yeah, that's where it starts. It's not where it finishes. It finishes in obedience. <laughs> it starts with repentance. In fact, the Bible clearly teaches us without repentance, there's no forgiveness of sin. No repentance, no forgiveness. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let's just take a few moments this morning. There's a sweet presence of God here right now. Let's draw close to Him. He says if we draw close to Him, He will draw close to us. See, He's done everything in His power to open the door and he invites you to come into his presence. The price has been paid. The greatest sacrifice has been given. See, before the death of Jesus Christ, before the sacrifice and the blood was shed and his body was broken, the glory of God dwelt in the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle. Only once a year the high priest enter that Holy of Holies. To make sacrifice and to plead the case of the sin of the people. When the blood was shed body was broken of Jesus Christ he said it is finished it is complete it is done he crushed that serpent's head he broke the powers of darkness the curse of sin is no more it has no power it has no authority we are set free liberated pardoned and forgiven and at that moment in time, when Jesus gave up his spirit unto God, the curtain of the Holy of Holies was torn, was split down the middle to open and to allow now access into the Holy of Holies, into the Shekinah, the, the ultimate presence and closeness of God. In his presence is fullness of joy. It's the anointing of God that breaks the yoke. It's the anointing and the power and the presence of God that shapes your life. And how you respond to that, whether you enter in or whether you stay out, is your choice. Thank you.
we must pass through. He is the door of heaven. When we receive Jesus, we receive God. And so I want us to lift our voices right now. And I want us to call upon the name of Jesus. Now just from your heart. Lift your voice and begin to call upon the name of Jesus tonight. Let your glory touch their lives. In the name of Jesus. I break the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free from captivity. I bind every demon power. And I declare the light and the glory of God to come upon you right now. In Jesus' name, I break the curse of sin. I declare in the name of Jesus. to live as children of God. To live as sons and daughters of the Most High God. This is the calling. This is the purpose that God searched for you. And he found you. He called you unto himself. And he placed his arms, gathered you. 